In this presentation, we're going to see how to use Job Work in Progress for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. First, we calculate and then we post the Work in Progress to GL. We have a look at the parameters and methods and we go through some examples. So, the first batch is to calculate the work in progress that can be done from this batch and the second batch is to post to GL. That can be done also job by job. So with the icon work in progress calculate whip and post whip to GL. And that can be done from the job whip cockpit where you can see all the jobs and all the related work in progress. So to do it for example from that particular job we calculate first. Here at the bottom we can see the result. We can look at the entries that nav suggest so so far nothing is posted to GL. We can see the recognize cells and cost for example. And once we are happy with that, we post it to GL. Now it is posted, we don't see it anymore on the bottom. So let's have a look at the setting. So we set up the GL accounts used in the job posting groups and the different methods available are on the WIP method. So you can build your own method and there are already, already five preset methods. So to know how they really work, what the formula used, what information does it need so that the calculation is properly done. On the documentation it tells you what you need to fill first. So depending on the method you don't always need the same fields. Let's look at the completed contract method first. So we have prepared a job that is set as completed contract with some task and we already posted a purchase invoice so for two thousand dollars and we also have recorded a posted sales invoice. So with a completed contract method all the costs and revenues should not be recognized until the job is complete. So that's what we are going to do. We're going to calculate the working progress. So we go calculate work, calculate job in uh, work in progress and we have a look at the entries that NAV suggest and on the recognize cost recognize cells nothing zero is recognized. Now let's continue our example and we are at the end of the project so we have invoiced our customer for everything we've recorded all our cost and we have so far recorded the work in progress so we want to finish the job so the job we change the status to be completed and the system tell us to recalculate WIP and post to GL that's what we're going to do. Calculate work in progress.
post to GL. So now we see the GL entry is created and there is no more working progress. You can see on the two post and the post it and our recognized sales and cost are recorded. So let's go a bit further now. What if we want to complete that phase by phase? We don't have the complete per task. So as a workaround, what we can do is to create some total lines. So I've created total lines per phase, whip, completion, analysis. Web completion consultation. So each phase has a total. So here we already posted that to the GL. So it's not recognized. But if we post to the GL with only a reversal, so we're going to reverse what we've already posted. And then we can change the whip method. So we can choose another method not to be the recognize. So only on the phases that are done, we recalculate the work in progress. And we can pass that to the GL. So in a sense, the two first phases are Done. So we are recognizing some revenues and cost on these phases. On the whip total column, you have also an option to exclude a particular task from the whip. So here, that task is not going to be included in the whip. Now let's have a look at the percentage of completion method. So we have prepared a job set up as percentage of completion and we already recorded a cost. So that's a purchase invoice related to that job for $2,000. Okay, our schedule cost are fourteen thousand dollars. So we calculate the whip and we think our contract price twenty thousand dollars. So we, if we go and look at the whip calculated, our recognized cost as two thousand dollars. They are fourteen percent because two thousand divided by fourteen thousand is 14% and if we multiply by the $20,000 that we think we're going to invoice it is our recognized sales. Now we've recorded another invoice so we're invo invoicing our customer at the end of January for $4,000 So the 28th of January. So if we calculate the whip before, so let's say on the 20th of January. We can see the contracted voice price does not take into account our invoicing, sales invoicing because of the date. So let's redo it to the end of January. And see, now we have a contract invoice price $4,000, but and our sales and cost are still the same. So it doesn't make any difference if you invoice it in the percentage of completion method. Now, if we have recorded another cost, $15,000. So now we are over our costs are more than expected, $17,000.
compared to fourteen thousand dollars initial initially uh, scheduled. So if we go recognize cost are our seventeen thousand dollars, we are more than one hundred percent. So we could recognize one hundred percent of the sales, even though before we didn't invoice that. So now we invoiced. We have invoiced everything on the project, our twenty thousand dollars. Let's calculate the working progress again. And we still recognize the same amount. So full amount is recognized. We've invoiced 100% and our costs are more than 100%. Now to finish, we're going to complete the job. Nothing more is to be recorded. So as we saw before, system tells us to recalculate the whip and to post the whip to the GL. That's what we're going to do. Calculate and then post first. So because the job is completed and we've calculated and posted the whip, all whip entries are reversed and we recognize the amount invoiced, $20,000, and the full cost, $17,000. So refer to the online documentation to see the formula and the information that needs to be populated. And you can have different ways to record your WIP and you can even create your own WIP method.